hood dreams. <clears throat> Tell me now, is it bad to dream? I need me a rainbow-hued robe like Jacob's son in the holy book, for I am surely one hell of a dreamer. When the day strikes dawn, all I see is colors. When I tuck in the sheets at night, I'm in a movie theater with a loud ambience and a multi-inch screen behind purple velvet curtains, a comfortable leather seat just for me, and some pop to yellow popcorn. Now tell me. Every time a normal kid from the hood closes their eyes for sleep at night, all they see is pools of crimson sprayed on their town walls, just like the undeniably attractive graffiti art it is so hard to unsee. Sea of tears and grief for their lost acquaintance. I mean, I just met and barely knew his second name and shortcut to his threshold for PlayStation purposes. But then when we arrived, we found the men in civilian. Trust me, we've known and mustered the disguise already. He could just go back to the uniform. Before my lashes kissed to deny my eyes the very sad reality when the shots fired at him, his body fell next to my feet with a loud thud almost to draw my soul with him. When a normal kid from the hood closes their eyes for sleep at night, all they see is how to make their next turn, how to make their homes burn, because to them, it is better off not in existence, for all it represents is hopelessness, hate, and malice. Father almost stabbed my mother. At this point, I do not know why I refer to him as father, for all he's been unto me is further, miles away from the tips of my phalanges when my arms stretch, when a normal kid from the hood closes their eyes for sleep at night. Their utterly insecure and terrified intuition pleads with them to keep them open. Why? My long indebted friend whom I owe a couple shilling coins may come knocking at midnight, and this time, no last chances, nor procrastinations. This time, it will be to terrorize. And if you're wondering about numbers, yes, he will not come alone. But since father is a coward who only settles his hot blood on women, I'm obliged to keep an eye through the broken window pane. When a normal kid from the hood closes their eyes for sleep at night, they don't look forward to the next morning. Because unlike an exquisite and wealthy estate couple kilometers away, no sweet aroma of frying bacon nor toasted bread will end his drool. No quiet wind breeze accompanied by sweet chirps of parrots nor a sweet mother's sound of love. Rather, instead, an atmosphere already defiled by the toxic burning tire fumes from a mob justice at the crack of dawn administered to the most notorious town thief leading to his painful demise, deafening, annoying hornbill and crow sounds to signify mischief and more dark days to come, not forgetting to mention a loud, possessive yell from poor mother who barely made it out breathing from father's unforgiving claws when a normal kid from the hood closes their eyes for sleep at night they wish they never opened them. Life to them, unlike other people's, is like a concrete maze puzzle filled with top-notch obstacles that even a black belt ninja wouldn't make it through alive, leave alone a conflicted teenage delinquent trying to survive. And by survive, I mean at least not find themselves standing in front of a speeding metal bullet. Life to them is an unending blood fight bout. I tuck in the sheets and dream for a better day tomorrow than today. I dream because that is all I can afford for now. On addition, I'm obliged to dream for my close friends and family's sake, and it is only right that at this moment, seated behind the multi-inch screen, then I do not sleep in the middle of this movie. <laughs>